Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to explain very basic installation and configuration. This video is just to take the feel of the track thread and the remaining technical configuration will be done in the next video. So I would like to explain that how simple it is to set up track thread and anyone doesn't matter from a technical or non-technical background, they can use the track thread. Before that, I would like to tell you that which topics we are going to cover in this whole course. So basically, we'll first cover the installation and configuration of the fret thread. Then I'll explain the whole Docker Compose file, then the config JSON file. And then I will explain in very detailed way how to customize the strategy and how to configure the strategies. Then I'll explain the data downloading. Like there are different, different ways of data downloading. And then we will make a video on backtesting then on hyperopt then the fret trade ui you can even manage this bot in the fret trade ui and also telegram then i'll explain the fret trade chart plotting then we will run the fret trade in dry mode and finally we will test this fret trade in the real environment so in that we will connect this to a, a live exchange and we will perform the live trades so let's start with the first video very basic installation and configuration of fret trade so in order to make it very easy, we have created a website for you, gotready.com. So you will find a link in the description below. So in order to make your journey very easier, so you can directly copy and paste the commands from the website and you can perform your operations. So let's start. So first you have to do the Docker installation. So currently I'm using Mac. So I click on the link. And as you can see here, a Docker desktop for the Mac with Apple Silicon. So I'll click on this. I will download the Docker desktop and just sign up and log in in Docker desktop. And if you have any other OS like Windows, Linux, you will find the steps to install the Docker. So just let me know if you want me to make a complete video on the Docker desktop installation and configuration on all the OS. And just let me know in the comments. Okay. So once we are done with the Docker desktop installation, we'll go to the fret thread installation. So here is the link, you can click on that and you will find a detailed documentation for the fret thread installation. Let's have a look on that. So you can see here, it has a link for uh, Mac, Windows, Linux. And when I just maximize this, you will see that it has a very detailed documentation for each and everything so you can always refer to these documentations and like once you are going through the whole documentation twice or thrice you will be very very comfortable with the fret thread so let's start the second step that is fret thread installation okay so here i'll create a directory for fret thread and i'll cd to the directory so currently you can see there is no data in that now i will download the docker compose file docker compose file is for all the docker images so which tells the docker application how to perform the various actions so i will download the docker compose file now we have the docker compose.yml file so let's have a look at this file so see uh, it tells that we are going to download the image that is stable image and we have different kind of images like we have stable image we have development image we have a testing image different kinds of images even you can download the image for floating then some instructions on restart container name uh, volumes and then the ports so which port we gonna use so for now we will use the port 8080 and then the low file location a uh, db url uh, config file strategy so in this config means after the installation of fractured, it will by default use this config.json file. We can even customize as per our needs, but by default it will use this file. And then the strategy. The fractured comes with the default strategy that is sample strategy. So if you don't mention anything, it will by default use the strategy. So this was it for the Docker Compose file for now. Then, but in future, when we deploy multiple bots, I'll explain the complete use of this. Okay. So now we pull the image. So what happens in Docker? So whenever you have Docker Compose .yml file in any directory, so now when we run the command Docker Compose pull, so it will take the instructions from this file and it will pull the image. So enter. 
So now it will pull the image which is mentioned in the docker compose file and just wait for a while and it will be done. Okay, it is done. So now uh, docker images. So you can see we have an image with the name Fractrade and that is tag is stable, image ID and size is 1.08 GB. Okay, so now we move to the next command that is user directory structure. Okay, okay. So now we go to the next uh, command that is create user directory structure. So what it will do, it will create directory structure. As you can see, there is no file or no directory now except the docker compose file. So when I run this command, docker compose run, create user directory, uh, name of directory will be user data. So when I enter and wait for a few seconds, it will create the whole structure. Okay, I'll show you. So now we have the directory user data. And when we go to the directory, we can see that we have different directories here, like the directory for the backtest results and the AI models, hyperops, notebooks, strategies, data, uh, hyperop results, logs, and plots. Okay, so now we move to the next command that is create configuration. So we can do this in two ways. One is to, to run this command or another is to create a config.json file and edit in that. So now we run this command. So it will create a file in the user data slash config.json. And now it is asking us to, do you want to enable dry mode? So we say yes, and uh, the default, and then the inside your stake currency, it will be USDT and stake amount. For now, we take unlimited uh, max open trades. We take by default three and have the strategy defined time frame. Okay. And your display currency will be USD and we take the exchange. Uh, by bit. Okay. Do you want to enable telegram for now? No, but we will uh, make a video on this also. Uh, REST API for now, no. Okay, so now we are done with the config.json file and you can see that we have the file here now. Now you can see that we have the config.json file here and let's have a look at this. So here you can see that uh, whatever the values you have entered in the command line, those are here. So now you can edit the uh, desired uh, parameters here and it will be reflected back. So for now, I will add few things here. So here I add the few pairs, like on which pairs it will perform the actions. So for now, I add two pairs, one is BTC USDT and another is ETH USDT. Another is ETH USDT, okay? And then we go to here. So in pair list, we change from volume to static. So volume generally is for the live trading. So, but now we are just doing some dry modes so I'll add static pair list and the third is I'll go for here is heartbeat interval. So I enter the value five and okay. So it is just to check the status of the bot heartbeat interval. So in this it will check the status of the board in every five seconds. So now this is just very basic configuration in order to just start the bot first time and to check that how it works. Okay, so I'll just save and exit the file. Okay, now I guess uh, we are done with the initial configuration. Okay, so now we run the command to download the data. So here you can see fract trade download data and the config file is the config.json. We will download the data for last 30 days and the time frame will be five minutes. So we can change as per our requirements. So I just enter and here it says uh, heartbeat interval we need to, okay. 
so i guess we have this extra this is not required i just remove it and okay so now when i run the command again okay so it says that uh, download data for eth usd and for btc usdt so we can just verify that so i go to data and here i can see that it created a new directory by bit and here we have the data for btc usdt five minutes so now yeah it's downloaded and we can move to the next step that is to run a sample strategy okay so okay and just let me show you one more thing that in strategies when go to this directory here we have one python file sample strategy so it is by default uh, comes with the fractured so when we run the command so in this we have mentioned that the config file it will take that is default config file we can create multiple config files i'll show you later how and strategy it will take that is sample strategy okay and it will take the data which we have just downloaded uh, for the btc and eth so we can even do that for the multiple currencies even in hundreds but for now we just check for the two pairs that is btc and eth so just enter and wait for a few seconds so now that the time depends on so many factors like the uh, number of pairs the complexity of the strategies and many more things so we will explain this later on so here we have the results so you can see that is a backtesting report and here btc and eth it took the 18 entries and the average profit is 0 0.38 total profit is 43.113 and it shows the winning profit here and when you check the summary matrix uh, it started from the 4th of feb to 5th of march means 30 days max open trades was 2 and uh, it took 1.2 trade like average trade daily after like the we started with 1000 usdt and the final balance was 1043 usdt here so we had the profit percentage of 4.31 so there are many things you can check here you can explore more later on so it went to the maximum balance of 1110 and the minimum was 1003 here and here it took total 36 entries average profit was 0 0.38 total profit is 43.113 and out of 36 trade entries it won 34 and it lost two trades so average winning percentage was 94.2 percent and drawdown is 74.712 usdt that is 6.72 percent so it is really good you can optimize the strategies you can customize the strategies as per your needs and there is much more to learn so in the next video i'll explain docker compose file and the config.json file so stay connected so if you have any doubt you can just comment down below and we will happy to help you you can even follow us on different social media platforms so take care bye bye